you guys. So, future me here. Hi. Um, I was editing this video and I realized that this video <laughs> was all over the place. I had somewhat of a proper intro for it, but because uh, <laughs> when I had sat down to film this video, I originally planned on doing a makeup look. But then, as I am starting to do this makeup look, um, I start to realize, when I start to do my eyeshadows, I realize that the makeup look that I was doing was my last upload. And I was like, oh no, now I don't know what to do because that's what I had planned and everything. So I was like, what do I do? So I was like, alright, well, this will just be a chatty get ready with me. And then I didn't really know what to talk about. Um, I kind of talked about a little bit, like, because this was, uh, like, two weeks prior to the Jake Miller concert, which I'll insert a sneak peek of it here. If you haven't checked out the vlog, it'll be linked, I, linked in the eye in the corner. I believe it's this eye in the corner. Um, and also link down below. But, um, yeah, so I'll insert that here. But, um, then I realized I was going to do, like, it was literally all over the place because I didn't know what the hell to talk about. So, long story short, um, I was listening to uh, Skinny Dip by Jake Miller and he talked about something about LA. And then that's when it occurred to me that I never sat down to do a proper uh, story time of the time that I met Vanessa Merrill. So I kind of was talking about that while I was getting ready. So that is why like, I already have some makeup on. It's just because I had to cut that out because it just it was literally all over the place. And if I left it in... One, it wouldn't be that entertaining, honestly. And two, it would have been like 37 minutes long. Probably like close to an hour long. So, to shorten the video as much as I can, I cut all of that out. So, that's why I'm doing the intro here. Because it's it's literally 10 o'clock at night. So, <laughs> I don't have a ring camera to, perf to perform. <laughs> to, to do an actual proper intro. So, you guys get the webcam. But anyways, back to the video. Our story <laughs> takes place when we arrived to Santa Monica. We already went to like Venice. We had lunch at Venice Beach and stuff like that. Took some pictures there. Um, we went to Beverly Hills. When it, we went to Santa Monica. I'm looking on my wall over here because I have some pictures from there. Um... Saw the Hollywood sign. All these things. Right? We go to Santa Monica. We had like 10, 10 or 15 minutes. Um, there. So, it was just basically to take pictures and stuff. Like, we couldn't go walk on the pier or anything like that. So, we just took pictures. <laughs> and stuff like that. And, um... As we were pulling up, the driver was pulling up to to stop um, in front of the sugar shop. There were a bunch of people lined up outside, and we were like, "Okay, what's going on?" And the driver said, "Like either they're giving free yogurt out, or there's a celebrity there." So, um, as we're walking back to go to the bus to get back onto the bus. There is, because there's like paparazzi outside and everything, and um, 
the he the guy asked like the paparazzi or some someone, and he was like, "Oh, who do you know? Like who's there? Like what's going on and everything?" And he said, "There's a social media influence influencer there." I was like, "Well, that could be anyone. That could be a YouTuber. That could be an Instagrammer. That could be." I'm, like, anyone, <laughs> like, it didn't specify and everything, so, I was like, well, that's gonna drive me crazy, because I want to know, because, like, what if it's someone that I want, like, that I want, that I like, <laughs> long story short, it was someone that I wanted to meet, but didn't get the chance to meet, and it was Nikki and Gabby, who were there at the yoga shop, they were having a free meet and greet at this yoga shop, and I I was like, how did all these people know? Like, I follow them on Instagram. I follow them on Twitter and stuff like that. And I saw nothing. It was because it was on the yogurt plate, the yogurt shop's place that announced it. So, yeah. And, um, I didn't know about it. And it was too late. So, obviously, I could not stay as much as I wanted to. I couldn't. So, there's that. So, I was kind of bummed. Then we went to, like, uh, Bel Air and Beverly Hills and stuff like that afterwards. And it was, it was cool. We, like, saw a bunch of celebrity houses and things like that. Like, we saw um, one of Beyonce's houses and stuff like that. We saw the Fresh Prince house and stuff like that. But I didn't get a picture of the Fresh Prince house. Because I was sitting on this side of the bus and the house was on the other side. So, and I, I thought, I saw my mom taking pictures, so I thought she took the picture, and she didn't. She's like, oh, I didn't know what it was about and everything. I'm like, you're the one person that takes pictures of everything, and then this one moment you don't take pictures? So, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, it's all good. Um, so, yeah. So, after that, um... We ended up going back to the Hollywood sign after the tour was over, and um, we went on on the on the Walk of Fame. They have the wax museum, so we went there. And then after, um, which I was surprised. I remember seeing. I know there's like di multiple different uh, wax museums around. Do I just go? Yeah, we'll do this combo. Why not? I always go with this thing combo. Um, so, I was surprised that uh, Ariana, because I remember seeing on Twitter that a while back that she had a wax museum, but it didn't really look like her. It didn't like, do her much justice and stuff like that. But apparently, it I did my research afterwards, and apparently it's not in Hollywood. It's some. It's in another country. I forget already. But yeah. But I saw a lot of people that, you know, I like, like Taylor Swift, Demi Lovato, all these people. So I, I, I was content. I also, uh, the first person that you see is Zac Efron. And, uh, I'll insert the picture here, but right before that picture was taken, because I, I was, you know, going there to position myself to take the photo, and I, uh, bumped my head very hard on his elbow. So, <laughs> there's that. I mean, there's always something with me. But yeah, um, so that happened. And... And then, you know, after going through the whole, the whole bus, the whole bus, the whole tour and everything, um, we decided to, because it was getting late and everything, and our hotel wasn't very far from, from where we were. So, why do I still have this on? <laughs> so, my camera is about to stop recording. So, one moment. So, we ended up going, like, started walking back to the hotel. Because we were, like, ten minutes from the hotel, like, walking and stuff like that. And we didn't want to get an Uber going back. So, um, 
we ended up walking back and our plan was on the way back we would stop to get food so we passed like a couple of restaurants that um you know didn't interest us at the time because we weren't that hungry then when we started getting really hungry we stopped at this restaurant i don't remember the name of it but um we stopped there, we got food. They have really good food there. Um, but I don't remember the restaurant. And they have indoor and outdoor seating. So it was nice out, so we decided to sit outside. So where the person that put us, I, it's the, the waiter, the, not the waiter, the person that, I forget the name of the person that brings you to your tables. But the lady that sat us down and everything, um, the table that we were put at was right next to where valet parking was. So, which by the way, if you ever go to LA, to California, um, just know that everywhere you go, unless you park on the side of the street, which is very hard, you have to pay for parking, like valet parking everywhere you go. Which is the only downside about, well, one of the downsides of downsides of California. But anyways, so we got to the restaurant and we you know, we ate our food and I'm not a big cars person, but I don't know, maybe it was because we were in a, in LA on the like somewhere on the walk of fame, like further down the walk of fame. Um and you know, they they drive expensive cars and stuff like that. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big car cars person, but it was kind of interesting to see, like, the type of people that are driving the car because, like, one guy came out of really nice, I think it was, like, your Mercedes, if I remember correctly, this really nice Mercedes, and he's dressed in this suit, like, all dressed up and everything, like he's going to an event or he came from an event. And then he's wearing running shoes. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> and then the lady that came with him, I don't know if it's his wife, his girlfriend, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. But she was just dressed very casually. And I was like, all right. I'm like, interesting. <laughs> so then this car pulls up and I'm like, the car looks familiar. <laughs> Like, I've seen it in, like, videos before and stuff like that. But it wasn't clicking in my head. And I don't know why. I was thinking Justin Gabriel. But I was like, no, Justin Gabriel have a white car. And this is a black car. And I don't know. I just, and I was like, they're not even here. Also, that was downside. Like, uh, the week that I went, I know it's, like, very hard to run into celebrities and stuff like that. And, like, YouTubers and all that. But, like, the week that I was there... <laughs> Most of the people that I, like, I felt like I had somewhat of a chance to meet, I mean, like, a low, low, low standard of meeting, were all, like, gone on vacation somewhere. And I was like, what the heck? Like, Justin Gabriel, they went to Lake Tahoe and stuff like that, which was, like, three hours from where I was. And I was just like, well, so much for that. <laughs> so I didn't know who was here anymore, like, Nick, apparently Nick and Gabby were here. I didn't even know they were here. And stuff like that. So, yeah. But then, um, the person that got out of the car was Bobby. I always forget his last name. <laughs> Starts with an M. But, um, he comes out of the car and... I, I'll, I'll be completely honest, I don't watch a lot of his videos, like, I'll watch one, one or two videos from him, if, like, Justin Gabriel are in it, or, like, if some other <laughs> YouTuber that I watch is in it, sometimes, there was a, a short time that I was, wa like, actually, like, binge-watching his videos and stuff like that, but f for whatever reason, I just never got into his, his vlogs and stuff like that, but I know who he is. Um, I'm just not, like, a crazy fan of him, you know? And <laughs> I don't know why, but my first initial thought was, I hope Vanessa Merrill is with him. And then I got lucky, 
and she was with him and she got out of the car and I was just like trying to maintain myself because I was with my family and apparently I didn't know because I didn't feel like I was smiling but my mom's like what why are you smiling like what's so funny and I was like a youtuber that I'm I like just came into the restaurant and everything and they asked who and I told them who and everything and then my mom was like well why don't you go say hi to her and I was like mm. I had a five minute debate with my family if I should go say hi to her or not and I knew down the line that if I didn't say hi to her I was going to regret it and everything also to know, I feel like we're so overexposed. Okay. Also, keep in mind, I'm like a super, if you know me in person, I'm a super shy person until you get to know me, and then, then I don't shut up. But, <laughs> like, until I'm comfortable around you, yeah. So, um, I was like, if, if it was anywhere else, anywhere else, I would have been fine with it because I know that they said if you ever see us out and about in public, don't be afraid to say hi to us. They've said it in multiple videos. No, it was just like, the, it was in the restaurant and she came here with this guy and everything. And at the time, there was rumors going around that her and Bobby were a thing and everything, but... Honestly, I don't, I don't think they were. I think they were just, you know, a guy and a girl can be friends without dating. So, I didn't think of anything of it. But, so, yeah. And then, sorry, <laughs> just feel like I'm very low. Um, and then, my brother was not helping me. He was like, don't do it. You're going to be like a douchebag if you, or something like that. I don't know. Um, if you go and you say hi, like, that's just rude. And I was just like. You're not helping. <laughs> like, I don't... So, I went at it and I was like... I was super nervous. Like, this is very out of my comfort zone to go up to somebody and act that I like and say hi. I have a whole history of, like, not being able to talk to the people that I really like. Like, I'm going to make... I'm probably most likely going to make a whole story time on that because it's kind of funny. <laughs> So, yeah, stay tuned for that. That probably might be coming up soon. It might be the next video. Who knows? But anyways, so I, after like having a five minute conversation with my parents, if I should go or not, I finally build up somewhat of a courage to go and ask to go say hi to her. So she went in, by the way, important information. We're outside. She went inside to sit at one of the booths. So, so, I didn't know what booth she, obviously, she went to sit at. So, at first, when I, uh, I had planned to go say hi to her, I chickened out, so I went to the bathroom. And I just, I didn't want to go to the bathroom and then just walk into the bathroom and walk out of the bathroom right away. So I had to make it, like, realistically, you know, like, in case they saw me or something. This is my thought process behind all this. <laughs> so... I waited like a few minutes. I'm texting Alex in the bathroom and it's like 8 o'clock or 10 o'clock. It was late um, in LA and here, LA is three hours ahead of New York. So it was, it was like one in the morning or something like that here. So Alex was asleep already and <laughs> I, I was just texting her, Frank, like, everything that was happening and and all that and um so then after I came back from the bathroom I saw where she was sitting my mom asked me if I went and I was like no I didn't and I explained to her then I finally built up the courage and I went and I said hi and uh, I went because she was looking down at the menu she didn't they didn't order anything yet they just sat down so that made me feel a little bit better about it because like my mom said you know it would it's one thing when they don't have the food because you're not interrupting their meal it's another thing when they just sat down and they're still thinking about planning what to get so I felt a little bit better about that so then 
um, I, I, I went up to her and I was like, Vanessa, and she's very nicely and politely looked up and she was like, yes, and I was like, hi, I'm, I'm just, I stuttered a little bit, but not as bad as I thought I would, and I would sit out there along the lines like, uh, hi, I'm a big fan, um, I just, I, I'm in town for a couple of days and I just couldn't help but say hi, but I don't want to, I said like, I don't want to be rude and interrupt you, you guys, like three times, because I was nervous, <laughs> so, yeah, so then she got out of the booth, and she stood up, and she had a conversation with me, and she asked me, like, my name, I told her my name, and then she was like, oh, how long are you in, in town for, or I told her I was leaving that Monday, and everything, and she was like, oh, that's soon, I was like, yeah, and so she was like, so are you in college, because I told her my by the way, I forgot to mention, she did ask me my age. I don't randomly just say my age. <laughs> that would be creepy. <laughs> okay, continuing on. My age also, and I was like, no, I'm, I, uh, I just finished uh, schooling for uh, to become an esthetician and everything, and uh, I'm going for my license very soon. I think I mentioned that. I don't know. And then I also mentioned that I have my cosmetology license <laughs> in New York. And she's like, oh, that's why you have such nice skin. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> and I was, thank I was like, thank you, you too. Like, so do you or something like that. And she was like, oh, no, no. My skin's not, not good. And I was like, I didn't look at her like that. But the, I, I was like, what? Like, her skin looks so, so nice and, like, flawless and everything. And I was just like. What is she talking about? Like, literally, I, my skin wasn't in good shape because, you know, my skin was, like, very dry at that time. It was that, I was just getting off of that time of the month, so I had, I had like, a little bit of acne, which is normal, but, oh, my camera feels up. My skin wasn't the best and everything, but I, I, nobody's ever said that to me, you know, knowing, like, People know that I'm a cosmet uh, that I have my cosmetology license. They know that I'm more into skincare than I am hair, like career wise and stuff like that. But no one's ever mentioned that I have really nice skin. Like I do take care of my skin. I try to take care of it as the as the best that I can, you know. But anyways, um. So then I I asked her. Um, if I could take a, if she minds to take a picture, and she's like, no, of course. So, I'm shaking, and I'm trying to put my freaking passcode in, because the finger scan wasn't working, and I was, like, nervous. I don't know why, like, on, on the iPhone, you do not have to unlock, oh, my mom's ready. You don't have to unlock the phone, you can just literally slide to the, to the, to the left, and the camera will come up. I didn't think of that. I was nervous and I was shaking and I was, I was so, yeah. <laughs> so then we took the picture and everything and then apparently I went back and I was shaking like crazy. Um, and I was just, I was happy with myself. Oh, wait, I'll insert the picture that I have with her here. And apparently my mom thought she was recording the whole thing of me talking to her and everything and I saw her when I came back she's just standing there with the phone and I'm just like what is she, what is she doing and she never hit record so there's no footage of that <laughs> of me having a conversation with her um yeah so it was really nice and she was very sweet like I've heard com uh, people saying that she's very sweet in person and everything and all that and it's true like I feel like what you see what she does on her YouTube channel with Veronica, they they seem very general people. Like what they put out there is what you see in real life, kind of thing. I also said before I left, I um I said, oh, can you say hi to Vanessa? And I just and she's like, you mean Veronica? I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was the nerves, but. And she's like, yeah, I will. And then she she said, I said bye. And she's like, have a, a, a good night or something like that. I was like, you too. And I was just like, what? It didn't make sense. But, yeah. So, that is my story time of when I met Veronica Merrill.
Vanessa Merrill. I just, see what I mean? Like, I know the difference between them, but my brain gets sometimes that. So that's the story time of how I met Vanessa Merrill in, while I was in LA and everything on my vacation. So I hope you guys liked it. I know this video was like all over the place, but if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of future videos you want to see. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll have my social media, like my Instagram, my main Instagram, and then my makeup Instagram here as well. So that is all. I have to go, so peace out. <laughs>